All right, we're about ready to start the day two of Hiram Saul. We're playing with some streaming software yesterday, so we had some issues with the stream being choppy, but we'll revert it back to what we did for the Florida 300. Um, I'm going to try and get the camera out on the dock for the start of the next the non the spinnaker boats right here we're at the start for the non-spin boats uh team osprey is not racing today Busy morning, trying to get all the tracking and all that set up. I believe that was the one minute sign. We're not. Looks like we have the start of the race. Here they come. Wind's a little bit more southerly today. A little bit more of a downwind run. So everyone's got it traveled out and sheeted in. Boat's heading out of the side of the island. Yeah. Different strategies here. Up, oh, got two boats heading out. Bound back side of the island. Looks like a third. Two are staying inside. Even the fourth is coming. The Hobie 17 Sport. We go out of there. We want to go on that side. No, we want to go down there to the We're down. We want to head for the high range. Yeah, right. Okay, so they get two inside here. Looks like they thought better about going around the outside. They're coming down the inside. And we have two more boats that are heading to the outside. Three more. Different strategies here. We'll have to see what's going to pay off. Race in Hunger is a early lead here. Hans Geisler. He was second to finish yesterday behind Mark Herendine on ACAT. Now, if we go back, Mark Herendine on that ACAT is that back boat that's going around the back side of the island. And the other boat decided, the Hobie 16 decided, uh, we're going to stay on this side. Up, oh, so Mark tacked back around. So we got an early leader, Hans Geisler. Oh, yeah. oh okay, yes. We, uh, yeah, we tried to get it on our Looked like the current was pulling them into that island, so they were kind of running out of steam to get around it. Yeah. 
Now that uh, sailboat without a jib, the second one in this picture, the one on the right, that's Mark Herring, Team Space Coast. That's an ACAT. That's the only sailboat racing today without a jib. He's also got foils on the bottom. So the boat is capable of uh, literally flying through the water. He was the first to finish yesterday. He did have an hour earlier head start over all the Spinnaker boats. <laughs> On the corrected times, Hans Geisler was the top fastest boat. On corrected times. And then his G Cat that he raced in the World 1000. Coastal Motorsports boat, a coastal water sports boat right now. They finished second and corrected overall. Both boats have a huge sail plan. And apparently it pays off. Both boardless boats. There's Heron Dean. And then this sport over here is struggling, trying to get around the back side of the island. Hopefully it'll pay off for them. What? Back to the main fleet here. Guy that guy that's standing up on the next to his boat. He's in this deep water. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was that? Uh, the uh, McDonald Reef. I think they got a little ball on it right over here. <laughs> okay. Prior years, uh, um, Matt McDonald was kept flying through to the finish line and uh, hit a reef, so it's been forever named McDonald Reef. Uh, it's pretty shallow through here. Yeah, they're all wheedling through it. Look at the guy's knee deep right there. Hans is coming back up now. Look <laughs> behind the guy that's shin deep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to take a look at some of the track and make sure all these boats are tracking okay. I've got also double check the boats in the next group.
Where they had that tire swing? Uh, yeah, we're going to that park first before you fix the restaurant. All right. So, you guys go park, there? You go there for the awards at the end. All right, looks like everyone's clear. Still haven't seen that OB Sport come around the back side. Right home. Like <laughs> the uh, car running for the air, but no, try. I, if I'm running the laptop and that, it won't run both.
because I knew it would go for All right, looks like the far side of the uh, intercoastal is the favorite side. Everyone's heading way off out there. I still haven't seen the Hobie Sport come around the back side. We'll do some of the boats setting up over here.
on a dry bag, you know. We're hiking. And here's the smaller. That's what I was going to give you before. You said, ah, you got room in there. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll hand it to you when I get done with the raid. Uh, one of the cat you know, the trailers. to the end of the pier. Thank you. So we'll relocate to the end of the pier so we get some better stuff. I'm not sure if the video feed will pick it up, but we will check and see. <clears throat>
It's a long walk out here. We'd like to thank uh, Captain Hirams for hosting, help host the event on the uh, accommodation side. For, we had a great time last night. Everyone had a great time. Some things you cannot unsee. So it was it was a lot of fun. A lot of camaraderie. Last boat was off the water about five o'clock in the afternoon, which is great. Gives you plenty of time to get showered, eat. It was a long day for them. They started as La Chimba. He was soloing a Hobie 16. He started the race at 11 o'clock and he finished at five. So six hours on the water. Good day. Uh, some dolphin right ahead playing in the surf. <clears throat> Here's a starting flag here. So we'll see if the video transmitter receives it here. It, it should. Relocate. All right. So what we'll do here is we'll get shots of the boats setting up. Um, Looks like Greg Goose is the first boat out. Other boats are setting up here, funneling out.
I lived in Delray Beach, and I was just kind of there, just inquiring if people need a crew or if there's any boats for sale. And uh, the guy Elias kind of mentioned that this one was for sale, and then I kind of just texted my cousin out of a joke, like, "Hey, I took a picture of it," and I was like, "You know, need some investors. You know, need some partners." He was like, "I'm in." And I was like, "All right." So I ended up working out where we got the boat, and uh, here we are racing. And it's uh, been, you know, I'd say one of my better. Yeah, so cool. We're just excited to get going, man. It's a lot of work, but yeah, that's part of the process. Yeah. Um, these, uh, do you have any boats? Uh, yeah. 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 the boats are out we got one more on shore finalizing stuff there's solar wind heading out turtle mojo hold, hanging out for the florida 300 turtle mojo and solar wind combined forces and then they they race uh the turtle mojo boat for the 300 now they're both racing with their wives Very fast. Here we have uh, G Cat Coastal Water Sports. That boat was a World 1000 boat. G Cat. It's been outfitted recently with new setups. Randy Smythe sails. Randy's been doing a little coaching with them and uh, gave him some setup tips, make them a little faster this weekend. And they were second fastest corrected. They were the first spinnaker boat in. The spinnaker boat started an hour after everyone else. All right, bye -bye 
Beautiful equipment, old and new. Interesting seeing the old race against the new. Today is going to be a downwind run for these guys. Yesterday they were only able to use their spinnakers for a partial time. Some of them gained a little advantage, some of them lost a little bit, but a nice jive. Attack. No jive. With a spinnaker. They're setting up their angles. Beautiful sail, big sail. Well, Team Osprey's not racing today. Their boat's going to hang out at uh, Captain Hiram's for the next month. Beautiful. That's a Falcon, America. That boat is produced about an hour north of here, 45 minutes north of here at Falcon Marine. Yeah, just wait till after the start of the race. We don't yeah, want... That's like yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not a good thing. Not a good Same thing yesterday. When it was light until around 10 o'clock, it just piped right up. It was went on all day. Sorry about that, just trying to readjust the video camera here. Hey, so Warren, I'm using all the video equipment off my quadcopter. I had some extra stuff, and uh, I'm streaming all the way to the car, the van. Oh, great. Just playing with technologies from uh, getting things dialed in for the Florida 300. Apparently the software we used yesterday was it wasn't working very well, so I'm gonna re uh, edit those videos and post them. Looks like Mark's got it. Hey, got it. Did you get a minute? I just want to see who's in the lead. Bear with me for ten seconds. Oh. It's Taipan there. Chuck Mavison. And here we go, Solar Wind coming, sneaking up behind us. Stealth mode. Yeah, we, we have some pictures, uh, you know, up on the wall, like all the background of the technicolor green sale. Dry, dry, um, Checking out yeah. different points of sale. I think I both dialed in. That was our biggest race. Osprey here. Yeah. 
Mark's in the lead now. Well, everyone's checking out. They're saying that uh, Heron Dane, uh, Team Space Coast, is uh, in the lead right now. I don't have tracking out here because my phone's streaming the video. The slowest boats are going to be your uh, non spins anyway. I'm not making the one yeah, 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 Oh, okay. Here's a mess. Now, this is a flying start. This is a startup sequence. It's going to start. Starts at six minutes, then five. Mark. <laughs> At Port Hobie 17, these are the worst conditions for that boat. Right now, they're the only boat to go on the outside. Yeah, the yeah, we'll out. Where is he? You'll see him popping out here. Oh, he hasn't popped out yet. Oh, all the other guys are on. We'll put the camera on them when they get. So I'm streaming. Um, okay. Yeah, let, me, let me get over here. You can get against the wall. I just need to get oh, a clear no, shot I'll, to my van. I'll move somehow. Away. <laughs> no, you're good. You come up here if you want. Okay. Actually, I'll put it here to give you guys more room because I don't need all that. I just need straight line of shot. Because any uh, interference with anything, it, oh, it just feels awful. Especially, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we had... We had four cameras at our I wedding. I want to have children someday and anyway. Everybody seemed to want to walk in front of them. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful solar wind. Over here, Turtle Mojo. All off the McDonald Reef. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you got that on video, though. Didn't yeah, you? I got yeah, a really good video. We're we're discussing one of the prior finishes of the uh, Hiram Saw when Mac McDonald came flying in on a F-16 and and hit a rock full bore, did a complete <laughs> pitch pull. We've got good video of that. He did a Peter Pan right in. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get that footage and post it on the uh, the oh, Sail Series nice. site. There's that 17. But the spot is right there where you see that uh, shallows. Right there. Yeah. 17 just pulled out from behind the island. Okay. Oh, oh, I see it way over there. Yeah, okay. Oh. He's not going to be happy today. St. Hilaire, way over there. They've got a long day in front of them. <laughs> they went around the back side of the island, which proved to be not the way to go. Hopefully they'll be able to get their bearings back and uh, make a good run, make up some time. They had a pretty decent finish yesterday, though, didn't they? They probably get a lot of time. Yeah. They were they were third to last to get in. Hey, if you're not last, yeah, <laughs> you're doing good. <laughs> they're they're moving now. Look, see, they finally got a good. Yeah, that wind's picking up for them. Yeah. The stuff we got is getting there. Uh, what's the wind at? Do you know? No. Hey, Warren, what's the wind at right now? Come back to you guys with the wind for the start of the race. Clocked a lot more from the uh, from the south. Spinnakers love this. It's a spinnaker day. They probably won't even have to tack all day. Just run it straight down. 7.4 miles per hour. 7.5 mile an hour. 
win for the start of the race. It's G Cat coming at. Six is a horrible. Okay. Yeah, it's a whopper, man. The whopper. <laughs> Beautiful boat. It's amazing, Hans. Race the Tybian. I mean, the World 1000 in that thing. And, and now it's boat, the boat's local to him. It's right down the street from him, pretty much. Yeah. And they're working with Randy Smythe right now on dialing in. He built a new set of sails for them. Oh my God. And he's working on training them as well. So he, they did a race uh, last weekend or the weekend before, and uh, Smite beat him by a little bit. Okay. And then he said after the race, he came by, he goes, you really need to do this. this. <laughs> he didn't say it before the race. He waited till after. Yep. <laughs> so Randy, uh, he's got a, a boat that he developed. It's called Scissors. It's a trimaran. And the hulls scissor in and out to get through narrow spots, then I guess we're going to be handling. Now here we have Team Wildcat, they competed in F-18, America's. He just wished his way. Well, apparently, uh, Carl Langfeld's kind of slipping a little bit. He got on the boat without wishing his wife a happy birthday <laughs> and just did a flyby wishing her happy birthday to try and appease the situation. <laughs> it's going to be a short ride in, but a long ride home. <laughs> Is that a Falcon? Which one? The Wildcat. The Wildcat. Uh, no, that's a Wildcat. That's a Hobie Wildcat, it's Hobie called. Wildcat. Yeah. It's a Hobie F-18 called the Wildcat. It's a European boat. I don't know how. It's a European boat. I don't know how they got over here. Hobie's importing them. They are? Okay. Yeah, I can get them. I want to drop my phone over. Now, how much is uh, that boat? Yeah. Uh, about 25. Uh, new. We're chatting here with uh, Scott and Dior of uh, Performance Sale and Sports. If you need one of these boats, he said he can get it for you. <laughs> Just bring a checkbook. <laughs> you take checks? <laughs> uh you also uh, import, you also deal in NACRA as well? Uh, what, what all uh, lines of boats do you do? Those are the cats. Then I have the uh, precision for model and, uh, uh, A precision model? Performance. Uh huh, laser. That's all. Yeah. And sunfish. Yeah. And a lot of Hobie Wave. Yeah. And we have a whole bunch of kayak, Hobie kayaks. Now, how big is your Hobie Wave fleet? Uh, on Sundays, we get up to about 12 boats. 12 boats? How many does uh, performance sale have? Three. Three. Yeah, we sold a few. Yeah. <laughs> we just sold a few. Trying to sell them off so we can get a whole new group. That's yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna stay with the eleven o'clock sharp start because these boats are gonna go a lot faster than the monohulls. They'll catch. I mean, the the non-spin boats. They'll catch them pretty quick. So even trying to start a little bit early won't get the day in it quicker. With the spinnakers, were specially made for downwind. They should catch them by probably the first grid. Before then. Okay, so you think you can get a good uh, handling on that uh, with an hour head start? Yeah. He's got four of them. 
got full. I don't know how he's going to get up. Yeah. We did a little interview with him yesterday. I didn't give him a shot. I just needed to dig in and out what it takes, you know, wind wise and direction to get, get up on those oil fully. Is still being developed in that class. That eighty five is a very big developmental class, and he's got older technology foils. I guess the new trick is the Z foils. But I was shocked he was able to get the foils in from uh, the top of the boat because most of them you have to get in from the bottom, and that's that was a big problem with the Florida three hundred having the boiling boats in because they couldn't really come ashore. You can't beach it. G cat, passing solo in, turtle in the background. Six minutes, six minutes. <clears throat> Since we got here, the dolphin, I guess these boats chased the dolphin around. They had some dolphins swimming in here earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they'll pop it before the start. Pop what? Pop the kites before the start. We like doing our running. I would say. Running. We did I was surprised they didn't run in. I was surprised they didn't pop them at the start over there just to get across. Yeah. All right, five minutes to go. That was a five-minute mark. Warren developed a uh, automatic starting system. It tells them, gives a little warning, a little countdown before the horn goes off, and the horn goes off automatically, so you just have to synchronize the flags to match it. it takes a lot of the human error out of the equation. Boy, do we need that kind of assistance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With this group, the less human involvement, the better. That's <laughs> so why I like the satellite tracking. Even if this goes haywire, you know exactly where the boats are at. Yep. But we had a pretty flawless day. One boat wasn't tracking on the, 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 the screen, but it actually retained all the data. So when they landed, it downloaded all the data. Oh, nice. And so he'll play in the replay. So we've got all the boats that will be in the replay. Four minute mark. Four minute mark. The next, the next horn will be at the one minute mark. Okay. Was that the three? Oh, sorry. Three minutes. I need to write this stuff down. <laughs> Take the human element out of the equation. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I appreciate y'all hanging back here talking with me. It's... <laughs> well, you know, I got to remember, it's been a while on my races. <laughs> yeah. Now, as we mentioned before, Scott and you are they're, they're no slouch in the, in the sailing world either. They were the only team to complete the World 1000 as a married couple, which is uh, quite the impressive thing. And they're still married. I think that's the, after something like that, it could probably stress out your relationship quite a bit. You are hit it very well. So who was skippering? You? <laughs> I know how to be crew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On our big boat and the little boat. <laughs> I bet. I bet. I mean, this is what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Probably almost. When did you get involved in sailing, Dior? With Scott. With Scott? 18. 18. 20, uh, 19 years ago. Okay. And how about you, Scott? Birth. Uh. <laughs> Fifth grade. Fifth grade? Fifth grade. Was that a summer camp or something? A little no, sun fish? No, a friend of mine, his Love dad had a, had, a, had a south winds, 23, and his dad would drop us off on the boat, push us off, and go to the bar and pick us up about four hours later, and a bunch of, bunch of stuff, 11. 10, 11. It's a tight pan, Chuck Mavison team. Chevis. We call him Chevis. Chevis? The Chevis team. 
They've been doing this race a long time. Oh, yeah. I mean, yep. I remember them when I was doing this, and I'm sure they, they were probably in the first one. Now, now they're local, aren't they? Yes. Yep. Chuck Mavis. Baird Island. Now, it's hard to see because we got a group here. All the boats are inland here. Getting their angles. Just here. getting their angles. Yep. Try to figure out if they're going to watch the spinnakers. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Uh, yeah, the two beeps would be twenty. Twenty seconds. You still got like twenty seconds. No, that's just for the next one. Oh, that's the next, oh, next uh, one. Okay. Everyone in position here. Five, four, three, two, one. What is it, one minute? Three. Oh, I thought you said it was three minutes before. It's got to be the one, huh? Oh, maybe it's one minute. I think we're at the one minute mark. Hey, Warren, one minute? One minute. That was the one more minute, Warren. So we're under one minute. You're here at the beep, beep, at 30 seconds. Yeah, we have different starts over here. The Great Goose, uh, Delray Sailing Yacht Club starting out here. These boats lined up in here. It's going to be tight. They are not allowed to cross the line before the horn goes off. If they do, they'll have to do a 360. Up, oh, throwing the spinnaker. Early. And they're up. And, and they're off. The Spinker's coming. Falcon having problems with their spinker. There we go. We got hoisted. Solar winds first out of the blocks. Followed by G-Cat, Wildcat, and then Chuck Mavison's over there. Then Turtle Mojo, Team Falcon. And Delray Sailing Yacht Club. Uh, that's Dave Ingram. Oh, in the early lead. Oh, uh, racing with his wife Kathy. Dave and Kathy Ingram. That's the. Nope. That's um. Uh, Dick McDonald, yeah, yeah. Turtle Mojo, yeah, and Linda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another yes, husband that's... wife team racing. That's them over here. Then we have another boyfriend girlfriend team. I guess Chuck Mavison. No, they're married. They're married. Okay. Years. Years. <laughs> Decades. Probably. Oh, yeah. They just had long, different 20? last names. Is what yeah. Kind of threw me off on that. Chuck, oh, Chuck and Mavis? Yeah. That's a first name? <laughs> yes. Hart, Ardine? Yep. I think it probably been married. Hart, 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 Hart. That's Dave Ingram, Kathy Ingram, Solar Wind. I tell you what, they've got a nice line right there. They're on a tight pan over here. You see them right here. They're higher than everyone else. So they come down to pick up some more speed. So it's kind of... Uh, the one that's actually in the front isn't the one in the best positioning sometimes. Everyone running their spinnakers will run down the, down the line. These guys, hopefully they'll be racing against each other, real tight groups. It's always a lot more fun. You can push yourself a little bit more. You have to push yourself a little bit more than just out there by yourself. It's amazing that after 30 miles, these guys will finish within seconds of each other sometimes. Always depends on the wind. And they have done this race in less than two hours. Uh, Hour 35, 35 is the record. Okay. So what's that uh, place that we met at last year? A little food place? Grills? I think so. We watched it. It was near the bridge, one of the bridges. Oh, oh uh, Squid Lips. Squid Lips. In Melbourne. Squid In Lips Melbourne. Oh, Gally yeah, They're moving. 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 Yep, sit on the sand there and watch them go by. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And then once they go by, you gotta hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then go to the next. You go to the next bar, and you sit yeah, and watch them go by. Yeah, I don't know. I think you finish life from there. <laughs> you gotta close out your tab as soon as you open it. <laughs> Boats are looking beautiful. No one had issues. From our angle, it looked like Ingram was over the line a little bit, yeah. but I guess he was but right I at it. I guess he was fine. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. So I'm not sure on what line he uses over here. Yep. Uh, now nah, he's too long a race well, to worry about inches. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no. I, you know, it's. Yeah. Law's a law. Law's a law. And Ingram, especially. If Ingram. Yeah. He yeah, is a stickler <laughs> for the rules, and if you go over the rules and don't self-correct, he will let you know. Yep. Yep. But you know, Warren would have just thrown a fun. a penalty yeah. flag, and then yeah. he would have done his 360 and yeah. be done with it. Yeah. Continue cool. racing, because yeah. if you do not do that, it's a 15-minute penalty. Correct, Warren? What's that? If you go over early and don't self-correct. Right. We are for this. So that looked pretty different. close. I know. Yeah, that was pretty close. He, yeah. he was able to luff up enough to yeah. to make it. Yeah, good. Because that's what we want. It's nice, clean. That was a good start. It yeah. was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice start. Yeah. All the spinnakers okay. flying. All right, we're gonna shut this down and uh, head to the next uh, next stop. And follow the tracking. Uh, I want to thank Hiram, Captain Hiram's. We had a great party last night. All the teams stayed at the facilities here. Had a great breakfast this morning. Everyone's down in breakfast, having breakfast. And the party last night was just phenomenal. The costumes, they had a $1,000 costume contest. The band was great. We enjoyed quite a few drinks. It was a nice, comfortable afternoon and the, just the sights. My wife said that you can't unsee some of the things that we saw. And we even had our kids down there. It was, it was great. They, they were loving it. Nice wide eye. Here's Team Wildcat. Hobie Wildcat. Beautiful boat, beautiful sail colors. First boat to tack, tack, tack across. Drive it across. <clears throat> Follow the race, live, tracking. All boats are outfitted with tracking. You go to sailseries.com forward slash tracking for mobile devices. Sailseries.com forward slash M tracking. Sailseries.com forward slash M tracking. It's a G-Cat coming across. Beautiful. Another perfect day. Wind's supposed to be consistent. It's actually switched a little bit more from the north, so they're going to be tacking back and forth the whole day with their spinnakers. Driving. And there's it. There we go. Beautiful. I might try and go get some on the video with the spinnakers up. All right, we're signing off. SailSeries.com. If you follow the tracking we're gonna start recording again about probably about 10 minutes before the boats come in before they get through the bridge the last bridge I actually got to carry this over so I can log off over there.
Okay, over there we have the Nacker 5.7 Team Osprey. Will, who's on the boat, he's one of the ones in charge of Captain Hiram's. His father started Captain Hiram's. Uh, that boat's going to live at Captain Hiram's for the next month. Play with it down this neck of the woods, do a little bit of training so next year they come back and do a good run at it. Now the teams, you see them packing up all the cat tracks. One trailer. Everything loaded up. Move to the next, to the finish line. The logistics of this race are pretty good. The boats start and finish the overall race in the same place. We spend the night at Captain Hiram's in the halfway mark and sail back the next day. So logistically, it's pretty easy. We provide transportation for some of the cat tracks and they share them. And then we uh, take some of their gear <coughs> in our vans and vehicles. We all kind of work together to get everything done. This weekend's been a Busy weekend for both Warren and I were the only two, well, the two main ones that are running all the, all the different stuff. Scott and Dior have been helping us out quite a bit as well. Ah. All right, so we're signing off now. Follow the... Live tracking is salesseries.com forward slash tracking for mobile devices, salesseries.com forward slash mobile tracking.